Okay, so I'm about to take a short position. It's super risky, but if it goes according to plan, it might be one of my most profitable ones. What's going on, guys? It's Ricky. I'm here in Costa Rica, and I wanted to share my uh, short plan, my short trade plan, meaning that I'm shorting this specific stock and I make money as it sells off. The first thing that I want to explain to you is that please do not copy this, especially if you're an absolute beginner. This is not something that you want to copy. I'm just, again, I wanted to make sure that I talk about this prior to shorting the position and then again let's see if i get that proper confirmation so let me go ahead and start sharing my screen i really hope that you learned something new um, and if you do please consider dropping a thumbs up and subscribing so as of right now coin has been selling up so let me explain coin became very overvalued very overbought very overhyped because of this spot bitcoin etf that's pending approval there's been some selling pressure for the past two to three trading days on coin now right at market open there's a quick change of direction and we began to rally up to highs of 161 if you look at this on the 30 minute time frame again we broke above that ema line it looked great for the bulls but it looks like it's slowing down now if you look at this on the one hour we're testing the one hour ema which is showing signs of a resistance if we do get rejected here and if it's anywhere close to the selling pressure we've seen from this morning or the past few days it could be very very rewarding because remember a short position you make money as it sells off so if it does return which it 100 does not i'm making this ahead of time so it does not have to go according to plan i won't take the trade if it doesn't go according to plan this is just my plan of action from where we're at right now if we get that confirmation below the ema to just previous lows from today that's a six percent return again I trade with half a million dollars. 6% would be roughly around $30,000. That would be a very, very rewarding day, but definitely not my biggest one. On the five minute time frame, if we go to yesterday's lows, which it doesn't have to go there, but if it does, from where we're at right now to yesterday's lows, 9.4%. Now, if you know anything about the market, obviously it doesn't just completely sell off. And one thing that I love to do is I love to short, cover when it begins to show signs of a support it, be, it tries to bounce if it forms lower highs i re-enter a short just as heavy making more than what the actual range is because i'm able to scalp it on the way down but again this plan means absolutely nothing if we don't get that confirmation right just like anything when it comes down to your trade criteria you need to make sure that your criteria is checked off and making sure that the trade is worth taking if this thing doesn't break below EMA and doesn't show signs of lower lows and lower highs and there's no reason to enter the short, I just thought it'd be interesting to kind of talk about it ahead of time and maybe follow up with it if I actually take the trade and if, um, what's it called, it actually ends up selling up because if it holds above, there's no reason for me to even take the short. I just won't take it and I'll move on with my day, right? Uh, but when it comes down to where we're at right now, um, with the overall economic reports that were being released today, the ADP employment change came out, came in at 164K, caused the market to sell off a little bit. Initial claims and continuing claims came in a little bit lower than what was expected, 202K. Initial claims are the number of people that are filing for unemployment for the first time. Continuing claims are the people that continue to file for unemployment. And then the overall PMI report came in at 51.4, which was a little bit higher than the 50.8 overall nasdaq market today isn't doing bad but it's not doing necessarily good so it's it's been a very choppy day we started off in the green pre-market then it sold off and then it's recovered kind of just trading sideways i don't know if you've noticed this about the market as we sell off again on the on the one hour time i'm sorry the four hour time frame we're getting close to the moving average which can be a support level so for all those that are shorting the nasdaq or you're an SQQQ, be cautious of this support because the moving average has been very, very solid as we're still overall more bullish than we are bearish. So just wanted to shed some insight on the overall NASDAQ market. But you guys let me know down in the comment section what you think about my short position for coin. Again, I will not take it if I don't get that confirmation, but offering six to maybe a 10% downside, obviously shorting, you make money as it sells off huge potential ROI for a potential trade that 
if it goes according to plan i can see valiant but again we'll just have to follow up if we get that confirmation and if not um, again this is part of trading sometimes you have to create a plan of action but if the trade doesn't come into fruition then you just move on right there's no reason to take it if it doesn't meet your criteria and that's the beautiful part about being selective is that it just needs to make sense to you and no one else just like this trade needs to make sense to me and no one else for me to take it so i appreciate your time i would love to see you in tomorrow's live trading session that's the second link in the description down below you get to see all of my good trades all of my bad trades all of my entries and my exits but most importantly you get to hear the thought process that leads to every trade i take which is most important for a beginner that's trying to understand how to get started so if you want to tune on in second link in the description down below and if you want to uh, have if you have any questions before joining shoot me a direct message right now via discord which is the first link in the description down below don't forget our tesla giveaway is coming to an end and if you want to enter it's the fourth link in the description down below appreciate your time like always let's make sure that we end the year on a green note take care team